I'm joined by Sarah, Aiden, and Catherine. We've all had a chance to read the novel Code Talkers. Can y'all tell us a little bit about the book? The story starts out with a young Navajo boy who goes to a boarding school and they tell him to leave behind his Navajo ways. After they're told that their language and their culture is horrible, then they have to, they're asked to become a Marine to help World War II and be a code talker. The whole rest of the story is about him and his other Navajo friends and other Marine friends going into battle and being code talkers and everything that happened again like battling against the Japanese. What did y'all think of the book? It was good. Yeah. I loved it. I thought it was really cool that it was in the perspective of a grandpa who was telling his kids about his experiences. I thought it was really interesting in the story how the main character went to boarding school and his native language was penalized. He couldn't talk it. He, he, he wasn't allowed to use it at all. And then that became a really important part of the story later. What did you all think of that transition from penalty to being so important? I think because he was punished, that's why he was so good at being able to speak his language because he's been kind of like holding it in it to speak that language. And then he could like finally speak that language fully and help. I thought it was kind of funny, really, that the people who had told the Navajo people, no, don't speak your language, went from that to, oh my gosh, we need you guys, really desperately. Did you all gain any insight into the importance of respecting other languages and cultures as you read this book? I think we should make it something that we do regularly so that we aren't like the people at the boarding school and trying to get rid of that uh, knowledge. I just think it's really interesting to learn about other cultures because when you're learning about other cultures, you get to learn about their traditions and what's different between your culture and the other cultures. What kind of feelings did you have as you were reading this book and did they change throughout the book? Uh, my feelings definitely changed throughout the book from going to the discipline at the boarding school to fighting. I was really excited during most of the book. There isn't really a break from the excitement and the danger. I remember telling my parents, no, I can't go to bed yet. This is the most exciting part. And then it kept getting better and better. Yeah. Well, you all did a great job, and we encourage everyone watching to do a little bit more research on the Code Talkers. Either read this book or find some other resources on the Code Talkers. It's an incredible story. And I want to leave you today with the last paragraph the author wrote about telling this important story. He says, the lessons my Navajo friends have shared with me over the years are truly the only reason I was able to attempt this inspiring, important story a tale that is as much about the beauty of peace and understanding as it is about the pain and confusion of war. Did you know the story of the code talkers before this video? Do you think you can decipher this code? Be sure to follow STEM and 30 on social media, Facebook and Twitter to get the answer to this code. Also subscribe to the National Air and Space Museum's YouTube channel for more videos like this one.